Hi friends, Mrs. Mountcastle here. Well, I've been thinking about projects so much and it's been really exciting. Um, and recently, see all my project things here kind of scattered around. Recently, I came across a story like this. It showed me lots of images of hostas. And I noticed the hostas because in my yard, this is what hostas look like right now. And so I got to thinking about making them, but I wanted to have another sort of, another group of photos to help me kind of recognize them when I see them, because some of them look differently. And I, and I looked over here like this, right? Hosta sprouts in spring. And then look what I discovered, how to cook hostas. So this actually might be my next experimental moment with my project because hostas are perennials. Anyway, for today though, I was experimenting with ways to make them, right? So I saw that there were some that are small like this and I rolled up, the, oh, and then I found, I, I used some of this kind of paper. I've run out of green tape, so I'm just using regular tape and some white tape actually also because I saw that some of the hostas have white tips like that. So I wondered if maybe some of their blooms have the white tips on them as well. So I've been creating them like this. And today I thought I'd just try to show you that I'm gonna, I'm gonna tear this guy and, and make one more hosta roll up if I can. So I'm gonna try to get my phone here to a spot where you can see what I'm doing. There you go. And now, I'm going to follow Mrs. Block's method of ripping paper, right? By getting it very well creased with my thumb. And then I'm going to do the other side and get it very well creased with my thumb like that. Right. She does it with her thumbnail. I'm doing that too. Kind of the side of it. Yeah, and then I'm going to try to tear it apart and see, and I like to kind of get it started. Let's see here. I can't make it go yet. I'm gonna try, you ready? Here I go. Oh my gosh. I got so excited I knocked my phone over. Like Mrs. Block said, just gently tear it apart. I did this not so I would have the strip like you guys have for your snakes, but so that I could just roll this guy up and you could see, I don't try to roll it into a cone. You might find a better way to do this, but I roll it like this, straight. And then I reach inside and pull on one either to make it tighter, like that. Yeah, see? And now it looks actually like the hostas that are in the ground. And I'm gonna take this guy up and he's gonna be part of my hosta display. I was just looking around the room to see what I might find for a hosta display. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you see what I have here? a box of tissues. I wonder if I have an old box in here. Nope. Nope. All right. Well, I'm going to take the tissues out of this box, I think, and try to use it. You know what? Check back later, and I'll show you how I've made my own hosta garden for the inside of my house. Just fooling around with project in unexpected places. All right. See you later.